here we are. We're in Darwin, we're out of lockdown, and we're starting this video with noodles. Finally got noodles. So there's no real excuse for not swimming. But anyway, we're in Darwin, we're gonna spend the week here. Um, checking out Darwin, I guess. Because, well, we've booked back into the Coolinga uh, caravan park for another couple of days just so we can check out Darwin, I guess. But there's a lot of people leaving Darwin, you can see all the caravans on the way out. Anyway, let's check Darwin out. Let's do it. Yeah. Here we are, downtown Darwin. And um, we've come and parked at the waterfront, and we're just going to go and head in to World War II tunnels check it out, have a little look and then make our way up to the Smith Street Mall I think. Well we're in here, the World War II tunnels, which is pretty strange to see actually. So much concrete in here. $8 each, I think it was, entry. Stand by. was really interesting that World War II tunnels sort of storage for the oil and fuel in World War II a lot of interesting history in there but anyway we're out of that we're going up there we're going to do the sky tunnel by uh, sky bridge sky bridge into the city and then just walk around the mall I guess have a look around Each. And a rare moment that you receive me with a glass of wine. Very rare. Very rare. But $15 each gets you a, um, a meal and a drink, really. Yeah. Schooner or a glass of wine or a house spirit. And there's a couple of different meals, so it's bloody good value. So, happy days. We're going to have lunch here and a drink and then get out of here. Not bad for 30 bucks there. Bloody good looking steak sandwich. So after that bloody lovely lunch, come down to Cullen Bay, I think it is. Cullen Bay and just have a look at the beach. It's a pretty nice little area actually, built up. Bloody good little area actually. A couple of restaurants there. Mm. 
you'll kind of For those asking about the crocodile, I think that's as close as we're going to get. Stick your head in it. <laughs> so it's pretty cool they leave a little bucket here full of bread. You can just feed the fish down there. How's this bloody spot? This is just a riffer spot overlooking the city. And it sort of wrangles all along that, there along the coast. With beautiful views the whole way, beautiful parks as well. I've forgotten, the, I think it's East Point, I'm not too sure, I'll leave it below there. But just sort of unexpected as well, we're just cruising around and found it and it's a bloody riffer spot. us we're um, starting in the morning packing up and heading out to Berry Springs any good I hope so it's about a what is it 15 minute drive 20 minutes 20 minutes I think 20 minute drive Berry Springs for a nice swim test out our new noodles somewhere in the back there and um, spend lunch out there I guess yeah let's get going This is it, Berry Springs. Loads of park area for lunch. And hopefully a nice little spot for swimming. Bit busy, but you get that. I guess everyone's out of lockdown now, having a look around. Well, happy days. We've got little barbecues here. So we don't have to bring our little cooker down. Loads of little barbecues and tables. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a little spot. I guess unpack and go have a swim I guess have a look at it So it looks like there's two pools or maybe three and a bit of a current. So we've, we've jumped in the end one. We're gonna jump back out, head to the top and hopefully catch the current back. But what a pool, eh? Hey? Good pool. What a pool. Beautiful little spot. Right, so this is the main pool we're gonna launch into. Have a paddle around and then make our way with the current back that way. Yeah, it's proper shallow, isn't it? 
there as well. Keep your only fish. Huh? Only fish. Oh, it's well good smashing your knee on that. <laughs> so it's really shallow through here. Like you're smashing your knees, you come and so you just gotta sort of, I guess, float on your back really and go along, but it's bloody beautiful. Crystal clear water, blue water. Oh, <laughs> big rocks, knee smashes. I'm getting bogged here. <laughs> it's a big tree I just bounced off. Getting overtaken here. They are in the overtaking lane. Yeah, fair bump. So this place is pretty much Northern Territory down to a T, yeah. Crystal clear blue water, just with the, the backdrop of all these plants. Bloody stunning spot. It's lunchtime and Jack is cooking burgers. Storm are you kicking up? Burgers. Burgers. Lunch. Oh, now that's a lunch. Fit for kings and queens. Oh, you call me a queen. Ooh. That's a first. Oh. <laughs> Hope you like mustard. <laughs> that's us all done here at uh, Berry Springs bloody good little spot we spent pretty much all day here had lunch yeah first time we've actually spent a whole day somewhere mm. it was actually really nice just to chill out doing nothing mm. swimming eating icy polling but now we're out of here we're heading back we're going to try and get a catch a sunset um, if we can because it's looking a bit overcast Try and catch a sunset, have a kebab for dinner. Alrighty, let's get out of here. So we've been for a walk at the Bicentennial Park, um, just because we had nothing really to do. But looking at the sunset we saw, 
should go down to Cullen Bay and watch the sunset. I think everyone else has got the same idea. There's a bloody, there's people everywhere. There's a bloke playing a guitar. It's just loads of people and this beautiful beach, which is going to be a stunning sunset as well. So, bought the rug down, bought some drinks, and we're going to watch this stunning sunset for our last night in Darwin before taking off and then coming back Thursday. Thursday. For Sunset Market. Yep. So anyway, it's going to be a good little end to our first stop in Darwin.